My name is Kyla Danza and I'm a software development engineer in Amazon, more specifically AWS. AWS is short for Amazon Web Service. Amazon Web Service is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. Millions of customers such as Airbnb and Netflix use AWS to lower costs, become more agile and innovate faster. I work in the safety engineering team, which basically helps build tools for other teams uh, when something goes wrong in Amazon. So if you've ever watched like Avengers Endgame, we are basically the giant gnomes that help build uh, Thor's hammer. What drew me to this role was probably the fact that I always liked the thought of creating something that would be reached by thousands of people. And I feel like working as a software developer, like just creating a small tiny button um, for a website like Amazon, it would be like touched by millions of people, which always fascinated me. And I think as well as that, like for people that haven't watched the internship movie, I remember watching it, I just thought how cool it was because they showed like s slides, massage chairs, sleeping pods, and I just always thought what a cool place it'd be to like work there and work in an environment like that. I think I mainly realized I loved STEM subjects when I was in secondary school. I think it's like started when I was actually looking forward to getting math homework, which was kind of weird. <laughs> I think as well as that, my favorite subject was physics, mainly just because of the teacher. He was great at teaching physics. Like he made it actually fun to learn physics, which kind of inspired me to do science in college. I remember for transition year, we were allowed to choose which subjects we wanted to do just for that year to see what it'd be like to study for Leaving Cert. And I chose, um, I chose the three science subjects, which was uh, chemistry, physics, and biology, which led me to studying physics and biology in Leaving Cert. I also really loved maths. And although maths didn't necessarily love me back, I always liked the challenge of it. I like being challenged and when I was searching what courses I wanted to do when I was in secondary school, I saw that computer science was mainly a male dominated field and I thought why is that? Is it that hard that only men could do it? So I chose computer science and I feel like I succeeded that challenge. I studied computer science and software engineering for four years in Maynooth University and I got a bachelor's in science. During those four years I did a SPUR, which is short for Summer Program Undergraduate Research and it's basically like a three month uh, research project where you, uh, you have a lecture and you are, the lecturer assigns you a project to work on and at the end of those three months, you have to present your work to judges. During college, I was a demonstrator for Coder Dojo, which was, which was like a coding event for kids, for very young kids, um, and they get to work on Scratch, which was, which was like an interactive website for kids that helped them kind of wrap their head around what it's like to code and give them a bit more knowledge on how to logically fix or solve a problem. Uh, after that, I worked a bit with a startup company in True College and I did a bit of cybersecurity. Um, but I think I like doing all those things kind of helped because I was able to add those to my CV, which helped me like end up getting an interview for Amazon. I was always interested in technology, especially how advanced it got every day. I feel like with computer science, there's so many options to choose from. You could go and study AI, robotics, cloud computing, and the demand for a software developer or a web developer is very high around the world. I think my main problem when it came to me being a woman in STEM was after my internship, um, I went back to college and I remember hearing a group of guys saying that I only got my graduate offer because of my gender and ethnicity, which was kind of shocking to hear considering I know how hard I worked 
for, I know how hard I worked during those eight months. And an internship is basically just a really long interview. And surely within those eight months, your team and manager will know if you're not capable of doing your work. Companies won't just hire you just because of your gender and just to fill a female quota. They want to hire you because they want to know you're capable of actually doing the work, you're determined, and if you can raise the bar. What I wish someone had told me, um, like advice when I was younger, was probably to not stress so much about the leaving cert. I remember when, like during my leaving cert years, I was so stressed that I went to my guidance counselor all the time, just filled with anxiety. And because of that, I kind of missed, um, I kind of forgot to enjoy my last years of secondary school. Another piece of advice is probably to apply for an internship during college because most companies absorb their interns after their um, internship. So you're most likely to get a graduate offer after your internship. Like it's better to do that instead of waiting till you've actually graduated to apply for a graduate role. I've always liked volunteering to be like a panelist or interviewer when it comes to STEM because I remember when I was in secondary school, I always looked forward to hearing science talks and just seeing the person, especially if it was a female, talking. And thinking about it now, I like how I, it came to a full circle. Like I am the person talking to young girls right now and it just feels really gratifying.